dramatic turn of events. The Southern Kings have aborted the process of selecting a new coach for the team. The board of directors of the Eastern Cape Rugby franchise said the decision was made on the recommendations of the interviewing panel. The panel felt that the process was undermined due to the persistent media leaks regarding the qualifications of certain candidates. Former Springbok prop Robbie Campson will be the interim coach, assisted by former Springbok fly half Bramfin Stratton, as well as former Springbok Sevens player Vuyo Zang. The interviewing panel reported that they felt the process was undermined because of confusion around the World Rugby Level 3 certification. The majority shareholder of the Southern Kings, the Graces Rugby Company, will now headhunt the head coach to avoid further media leaks. The Kings coaching post became vacant with the departure of Dion Davids a few months ago. A permanent coach will only be appointed after the 2019 World Cup. There was a breach of confidentiality uh, uh, within the system. And uh, then first of all, the names of the candidates were, were leaked to the media and the public. Uh, and number one. Number two, you also are aware that there was a, a whole... Uh, question of uh, the World Rugby uh, Level 3 certification process and uh, we found a lot of applicants uh, questioning uh, the, the, the certification process of that of, of World Rugby and and and, and uh, obviously, the events of the past few days and, and week have necessitated a review of the whole uh, inter, uh, 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 selection process. And uh, a decision was taken this morning uh, to abort the whole process and start the process from scratch again. The franchise management also refuted media reports that former board coach Peter De Villiers won't be considered because he does not have the required qualification. Contrary to reports, De Villiers has a level 3 coaching certificate. I think the perception is misplaced. Peter De Villiers did submit an, 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 an application uh, for the coaching job. He was interviewed uh, as part of the of the coaching position. So he was interviewed by the panel, by the way. And uh, so what the panel did, they interviewed actually three candidates, okay? And then uh, those candidates were ranked by the panel. So the perception that Peter de Villas was uh, not favored, uh, I think is misplaced. He was interviewed as one of three possible candidates. And the Southern Kings will play against Georgia at the end of the month as the European side prepares for the World Cup. Namibia will also play the Kings as part of their World Cup preparations. The Kings then kick off their Pro 14 campaign at the end of September. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Portland.